Now you can also order your favorite Gattu Chinki's favorite toys from our website. Link is in the description. Hello my creative friends. I have a riddle for you. I have a handle and a spine but I am not a fish or a book. I can open and close in a line but I am not a door or a hook. I can protect you from the rain but I am not a roof or a tree. What am I? Yes, it's an umbrella and that's exactly we are making together. So let's get started. To begin, we'll draw a curved line that represents the top edge of umbrella. It should be slightly wider in the middle and taper towards the sides. Next, we'll add some details to the canopy. Draw several short curved lines across the width of the umbrella. These lines represent the panel or sections of the fabric. Now let's connect those tiny curves to the center of the canopy. It will look like the spokes of the metal pieces which keep the umbrella together. Let's add the handle. Draw a long vertical line extending from the bottom center of the canopy. The canopy of an umbrella is the part that covers your head and keeps you dry when it rains. Now, let's make the handle more interesting. Add some curves and contours to it. You can also give a grip or any other decorative elements you like. And there you have it, a lovely umbrella. But it's missing something. Oh right, colors! I'll add different colors to every section of the canopy. First will be yellow. Second will be red. Then blue. Then green. And then orange. Finally, handle will be brown, but you can choose whatever colors you like. As we are done making our umbrella, why not go out in the rain with a real one? When the sky is dark and cloudy and the raindrop starts to fall, you can grab your favorite umbrella and go out for a stroll. You can splash in all the puddles and enjoy the fresh cool air. Your umbrella is your body. It will keep you dry and fair. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to draw an umbrella. Stay tuned for more artistic adventures on Punton Classroom. Happy drawing! Bye-bye!